Let's bring them on, ladies and gentlemen, from Gilligan's Island, it's Gilligan, Mary Ann, and the Professor! Hey. <laughs> All right, here they come! Yes, indeed! Just pick a seat here, folks. Thank you. You know, this is really incredible because I have had the chance, I have, I have worked with uh, Marianne with Dawn Wells on numerous occasions. In fact, she used to have a house here in the Bay Area, and I've had a couple of chances to interview Bob Denver, too. Never Russell, but... Oh, your thrill is coming it, up. No, I, I can tell that. It's, it's on its way. But the amazing thing is it was always in a studio, kind of a sterile environment, and all of a sudden the three of you come out here, and I mean, there is... I've never seen this much excitement generated by an audience in my life. It's electric in here right now. You're good guys out there. Oh, I'll tell you, they're great. Plus, with a uh, little help from... Russell Turner over here, who may be the greatest Gilligan's Island fan in the entire world, uh, he has given us a whole bunch of stuff. Joel Nigro has done a great job in putting together some stray clips, various and sundry clips from not only Gilligan's Island, but some of the other shows you did. Th how often do you all get together like this and, and go out and give people a chance to meet you? Uh, well, about two or three times a year we get together and get rescued wherever there's a body of water. And luckily right. there's a lot of water around here. We're going on a cruise on Sunday. Yeah, you're going to yeah. be going out on the uh, Princess or the Empress Cruise Empress, Line, yes. and uh, people will get a chance to meet you there. You're going to be at the fair all day today, mm -hmm. all day and today. tomorrow. All day today and tomorrow, selling books. At the Hurricane Lounge this afternoon on Passa Grill and a lot tonight. of other locations tonight. like that. Tonight. But because you all are not the distant kind of people who just pop in, do an interview, and pop right out again. This is kind of a hands-on visit, right? Yeah, we're going to say hello to a lot of people. That's true. Look at them all right yeah. here. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> this is terrific. Look, yeah. the, each of you has done a book. Now, Don Wells, of course, has been on the show before with a cookbook, which we got a chance to do some cooking from. Plus yes, we did. some great pictures from Gilligan's Island and so forth. Hey, if I can, if we have this Don Wells picture there is... Uh, Don had a great movie which was done oh, sometime after Gilligan's Island, and we have a clip from that. It was called Return to Boggy <laughs> Creek. On my kitty picture. Can we see this right here? Real big with a six-year-old, this one. They're just babies. What are we going to do? Well... We're going to get you and, and Pa and Uncle Bo to safety, and then I'll come back and find them. No! I'm not going to leave while they're out there in the storm. You've got to. Oh, Boy, just, oh. Oh. <laughs> just missed out on those Oscar nominations, too. Return to Boggy so. Creek. But uh, <laughs> just to let people know that everybody does have a life outside of Gilligan's Island, for sure. Uh, as the professor, Russell Johnson, you did a book also about Gilligan's Island. How would you describe yours? Yeah, my book is called Here on Gilligan's Isle. It's, uh, it, it has my ideas and opinions about the rest of the cast, these people here. I hope yeah. you say uh, nice things about these two. The rest two. of them are on, and uh, uh, something about my life and something about the rest of my career. It's an interesting book. It's got a lot of pictures in it, some of which have never been published before. And uh, it's a nice book, easy to read. It's a great read. book. It's a great book. Yeah. I I, you I like know, I told it. you there's a lot of electricity in here, and all of a sudden the lights went out. I think we had a little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we had a little too much. Fortunately, you can still see us on television here, though, That's for sure. Yeah. What would you say is the most unusual item in the book? What have most people come to you and said? Is it uh, read in your book that so-and-so? Oh, they said, uh, I, I probably think the most unusual item in the book is uh, what I had to say about Bob and Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let us read that chapter. But I'm not I don't telling understand. you, you've got to write a book. You know. <laughs> you can. Anyway, we've just made up. We just made up. <laughs> we've just become friends again. Just in time for this tour. <laughs> because I know Bob Denver had uh, something in his book that, that caused ripples all through the, uh, the Hollywood community when you said some things about uh, Ginger. Tina Louise. Yeah, Tina Louise, who played the part of Ginger. Well, because I just said that she wasn't very happy doing the show, and she's the first one to admit that. Yeah. Um, she was quoted once as saying she wouldn't watch the show unless she was on it. Kind of oh, gives brother. you a hint she wasn't too happy, you know, so... But, I mean, she got over it, I think. Yeah, I said the same <laughs> thing, really, in a different way. You know, <laughs> I mean, we all... Uh, she, she was an unhappy person on the show, although she was very good yeah. on the show. She, uh, she could be difficult. You also mentioned that you had a uh, room next to hers, in the, or a trailer next to hers, or something right. like that, and she used to entertain herself pretty well, or entertain watch somebody it, else. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, we don't even well, want to get into that with this that, very no. family-value-oriented <laughs> show, right. for sure. But 
the, the thing we were, we got a chance to talk on the radio this morning that uh, Bob Denver has done is he has taken two roles and brought them to life and people associated him with them. I think at one point in your career, you had to feel that you were going to be Maynard G. Krebs forever from Dobie For Gillis. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> thank you. And then all of a sudden you became Gilligan and uh, there's a shot at being Gilligan forever if uh, you know if you don't come up with something else as big and that's going to be uh, pretty tough to do. I, you know, I think it's done. I'm going to be Gilligan the rest of my life. There's no way around. It's 30 years this year so that's really been fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 30 years. I got my hat. <laughs> yeah. The original hat. Russell, you talked, I think, uh, about some of the problems of being stereotyped once you got into a, a particular situation like that, and people see you now, and they don't say, hey, here's Russell Johnson, the actor. They say, here's the professor. That's true. It's true. That happened to us. Uh, in the old days, in, in those days, it was very difficult when, to come off a su successful series and to go into another one. Today, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, they'll put you into other series. In those days, it was tough to get started again. Uh -huh. I had played heavies for 14 years prior to doing Gilligan's, and after that, it was very difficult to get a job being a bad guy again. They didn't see me that way. But eventually, I got started again. But yes, we were absolutely typecast. We still are. And, you know, I've been a, an actor for over 40 years. Uh, people don't uh, come to me and say, oh, I, you're so-and-so in, in Owen Marshall, or you were this Gib Scott in that Western. They say, you're the professor. Well, I, I live with that. I'm, I used to fight it, but not anymore. I realize that we brought joy and happiness to three generations of people. Yeah. So why fight it? Yeah. And by the way, speaking of that, in just a moment, we're going to be back and take a look at one of the other mover movies that not the professor, but Russell Johnson did when we return on Harrison Company with the Gilligan's Island crew. Our guests are Russell Johnson and Don Wells and Bob Denver from Gilligan's Island. And just to show you, the uh, professor, Russell Johnson, did have a great acting career going before Gilligan's Island. We have a clip. This is from, um, what is this from? A, an outer space, something. It came from outer space. Oh Let's God. take a look at this one. <laughs> Was I ever that young? I know, it's not hard to do. There was nothing there to react to, was there? I mean, no. They just kind of told you what you were looking at? That's true. Yeah. yeah. That was going to make it up effect. as you go along. Yeah. Act I'll like you're you. afraid? Yeah, you guys are just, they're saying, okay, act. They put a camera out there. You don't see anything at all, any of those special effects or Some anything. of these times, yes, of course, oh, when you're working with, with special oh, effects. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What is it again? <laughs> <laughs> They, uh, there's a group in the audience here that came a long way. A lot of them did because they went to school with you. What is this, Gerard, Gerard College? Gerard College, Philadelphia. Hey, stand up, everybody from Gerard College yeah. stand up here. There's somebody in front. We've got a whole bunch of folks out around yeah. here. They're scattered all throughout the audience. All right. Russell, they've refused to sit with each other because they don't get along anymore, but they are willing <laughs> to come out here today there you go. to be with their greatest ever alumnus, and that is Russell Johnson because of his role, and it came from outer space. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not the greatest ever, but, a, but an alumnus and a pal and a brother. These are my brothers. Homer. Yes, sir. The, the revival of Gilligan's Island has suddenly appeared in the, uh, in the beer commercials. Uh, yeah. The fact now that Mary Ann is red hot in, a, it's a Budweiser commercial, I believe, Bud or Bud Light. Budweiser. In, in which these guys play in pool. I guess they're just a bunch of young men getting together and having a good time, and all of a sudden they're talking about who would you rather spend time with? How did they put it delicately? I'm sure it was a commercial. And they, Ginger or Mary Ann, and they all say, Mary Ann, yeah. 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 Oh, but, yeah. but wait a minute. It had an unhappy ending because you lost out to uh, Jeannie. Jeannie, right. Barbara Eden won. However, I was in Minnesota about a week ago, and I, somebody in a radio station asked me, did they ask my permission? And I said, no, I didn't even get a beer. So I was doing an autographing at one of the bookstores, and two Budweiser executives came in with a case of beer and said, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'm waiting. I know, there's a Bud Light, uh, I know there's a Bud Light little um, place over here that maybe they'll froth up a mug for me before the yeah. day. Maybe we'll all slip over there a little <laughs> later. You know, I've been known to do that every now and then. <laughs> 
Bob Denver, uh, of course, has appeared in, in a lot of other things besides Gilligan's Island and even Dobie Gillis, too. And we got a clip, too. This was uh, not too long ago, I guess about uh, seven or eight years ago. And this was from uh, with Frankie Avalon and Connie oh. Stevens. Back to the beach. Let's take a look at this one. Back yeah. To the beach. <laughs> Why don't I ever learn? Give him another drink. Another drink. Heavy on the fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, I lived with a guy for years, a real genius. I mean, he could take a couple of these, you know, a couple of coconuts, a piece of string, and make a nuclear reactor. But he couldn't fix a two-foot hole in a boat. You want to hear the rest? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was. As everybody tried to analyze it later, years later, all of these guests would end up on Gilligan's Island and somehow they would get off the island. A little lousy hole in the boat and this professor could do everything and he couldn't fix that little tool at all. used to build rafts a lot, but they always sunk. <laughs> so I guess when we, we never asked him to build a boat, he couldn't even build a raft that could get out of the lagoon. You know? <laughs> yeah, it never occurred to me to, be, to fix the boat. Never occurred to him. We'd have been off the island years ago. Oh, brother. Let me ask you about some of the other cast members. Um, and... and Give me what you all feel about them. And assuming this was a, a pretty fun thing to do something like that, it, it sure looks like that when you see the finished product. But it was. Ginger apparently was a little rougher to work with, right? Well, she's professional. She came in and did her work. She just wasn't friendly afterwards. And she just kind of left and went home. And the rest of us, we had a great time. It was like a family, and we had a crew that stayed with us all three years and had a great time with us. And um, Jim Backus was hilarious. I thought Natalie Schaefer was one funny lady. And Alan Hale was my buddy, my big buddy, you know, and... Doing physical comedy with him was really a joy. Boy, talk about physical comedy. Yeah. No, did you get slapped around a lot. Yeah, but he was very careful. He never hurt me. You know, never came close. Well, I couldn't hurt him. There was no way. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very large guy. Hey, we're going to take a break. I want to ask you about residuals and things like that, because everybody knows oh. when you have a successful series, you become rich and sure. powerful. We'll find out how rich and powerful in a moment when we continue on Harrison Company. <laughs>